Daryl Bro and his wife Linda moved to Nashville in the late 1980s with very little money but a lot of hope that authentic Cajun cooking would please the palates of Nashville. We made our first visit around 1990 at his first location on Murphy Road. That was after word was getting out that Bro's was the real deal for Southern Louisiana dining. A place to let the good times roll, or as they say in Cajun country, There's a bon ton roulé. <laughs> well, since our last visit, the dining area has greatly expanded. Daryl's expanded a little bit too. The menu's grown quite a bit, but that tradition behind the real deal Cajun food ain't never gonna change. It's good to be back. Well, Linda was off the day we made this return visit, but Daryl, as usual, was running full tilt at the service bar, at the cash register, and back in the kitchen where he reflected upon his lifetime of cooking. They told me there's money in it years ago. I don't know, I'm still trying to find it. <laughs> but now cooking is, it, it, especially me and, you know, we started cooking as kids. It just, it, you know, down Cajun country is, you know, you live to eat and eat to live. And it just, it just, but you go hunting, fishing camps, and you know, guys just sit around and drink beer and try to cook one another. And you got a lot of really good eating. You right, know. That's a lot of good practice. Yeah, sure. and it just, you know, people get together and cook. And one, you know, it's, it's just part of the culture. I always try to cook, serve the type of food like what my mother would serve. And we never really got into the fancy Cajun dishes or Creole dishes. I've tried a few times, but people just want that basic Cajun cooking. His expanded menu includes such delicacies as pork tenderloin, using an old family recipe for the gravy. That's the gravy my mother used to make. Just, just about want to burn your meat. You don't burn the meat, but you get it real dark. Today's special was catfish, and his customers will tell you you've never had catfish until you've had it Cajun style. Clean our fish real good, and then we uh, we marinate it. And, and what I do basically, I take just regular table mustard, and then use the different seasonings. And of course, everybody likes, you know, we put a little garlic and lemon pepper, and just give bring out the flavor. And, and what the mustard does, the vinegar in it helps marinate it. So we take chicken. It's what's called fricassee. It's like a. Uh, gumbo flavor. We pour that over rice and that. It takes a lot of time and work to make all these dishes from scratch, from the red beans and rice to the gumbo, etouffee, and creole. And the crawfish etouffee, the red beans and rice, and the shrimp and creole. But it all pays off when the customers come piling in as they do daily. Daryl is both pleased and amazed that despite several moves over the years, his customer base has remained so loyal. My customers are just so grateful, man. I tell you, it's, they welcomed me with open arms when I first came to Nashville, and I still get a lot of people today that have been eating with me all them years. All right, thank you, appreciate you. Glad you found us. People plan their week by a lot of time what we have on the menu. It's, it's really amazing, man. You must have some very loyal customers who oh, get got, really hungry about me. the best customers <laughs> in the world. <laughs> in the beginning, it was only Daryl and Linda doing the work. Today, it takes a whole crew to handle the cooking and serving. Daryl even has two sons on board, trained enough to take over some of Dad's responsibilities. That's the hardest thing I'm going through right now is letting my boys take over the stove and that. And, and here, I, I'm trying to tell them what to do, and they said, Daddy, we know what to do, just get out of my way, you know? <laughs> there you go, where you from? Ah, uh, I caught a little twang right there. It was a brave move from Lafayette to Nashville, but when you've got a talent for cooking and a penchant for pleasing people, well, diners become regular customers, and regular customers become friends. And that's the way it's been for this Cajun turned Tennessean. Nashville is a great place. Besides the everyday problem of that, I still wake up and like I said, I've been here 18 years and I wake up like every morning like I'm on vacation. So Nashville is a great place. People are so friendly and, and they love to eat the bros cooking. Yeah, they do. <laughs>